So if we're there right now, yeah. uh, well, that's over there. What way are we meant to go? This way? Where's that? We'll be going in a circle the whole day here. Today we're in Runnymede, the home of the Magna Carta. If you walk all the way down here, you might see another board and see if you might find some daffodils down there. And what are bluebells? Bluebells are tiny little blue flowers. So I've just found out it was King John who insisted that the Magna Carta be signed in 1215, setting in stone for the first time some kind of rights for the citizens of England. And we've got a um, bit of a nature trail going on as well. We've got youngsters with us and of course the very youngest of the young. I'm not sure what he makes of all of this but England is so rich in this kind of history. There's so many places like this that I've never been to, never heard of, and if you try to visit one a week for the rest of your life, you probably would never see half of them. When you come to places like this, you get a real sense of England and Englishness and what it means to be English. And the English identity has kind of been under attack a little bit recently and there was that clip with David Lammy being told that he's not English and him kind of desperately trying to claim the identity and some people say well English is a national identity but it's not a nationality there's no English passport and some people try to suggest that there's no such thing as Englishness that it's just a figment of your imagination if you're English uh, but reading the information just now this Magna Carta is the backbone of the Constitution of England not Great Britain not the United Kingdom long before there was a United Kingdom there was a Magna Carta in England signed by the King of England and this document in 1215 inspired the Bill of Rights in America centuries later. It inspired the Universal Declaration of Human Rights just over half a century ago. So it's a bit rich to try and tell the English people that they don't exist or that they're not an ethnicity. It was the Anglo-Saxon civilization that blossomed here that made this part of the British Isles and these ancient Britons become English. And that doesn't mean you can't be English if you're not a blonde, blue-eyed Anglo-Saxon, but it does mean that immigrant populations who come here and have another identity that lies elsewhere, often in the British Empire, retain that part of their heritage, just as the native English retain not just their English national identity, as you might have filled out in the census, but their English ethnicity in the sense that they are descended from the people who came to the land and cultivated the land and gave the land its name. The Golden Rule, and it's written in uh, many different languages. Hebrew, Arabic, whatever that is. And the golden rule is, of course, uh, treat others as you would have them treat you. Just had a pleasant chat with a fellow photographer. It's always a good conversation starter or nice camera. And if we're not careful, because we've been cooped up for so long and locked up and told to stay two metres apart from each other, we'll lose the art of casual conversation. Yeah, so this um, Magna Carta here in Runnymede is part of the National Trust and we were, as we are new members, gifted a membership. We gifted a membership, so the plan is to hit every place that we can really get to. How's he doing? Yeah, and the little one is enjoying it too. And who wrote it? By whom? King John ordered it to be signed, apparently. So the, the King of England... 
was behind it. So would it be a book or something? Said, it's a document. A document. But no one knows where is it exactly. And no one knows exactly where it is. We know it's somewhere, it's somewhere around here. Interesting. And we still have our human rights because of it. Apparently, just don't uh, <laughs> just don't go around anyone's house <laughs> or meet with uh, more than six people if you want to play football.